Welcome back to a new video here in Suave. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you a little update of the how to import a fusion composition in DaVinci Resolve video. In this video, I'm not only showing you how to import a fusion composition, I'm also showing you how to export a fusion composition, how you can save your notes or a group of notes, and then what's the difference between using a .com file and a .settings file. So let's get to the video. Now, the reason I'm making an update is because in the previous video, the process is a little bit different. You can check the old video if you're working on an older version of Resolve, but if not, make sure to check this video out if you need the solution. Now, here, if you go under File, in the past, it will show up here. Now, in DaVinci Resolve 17, you can go here to Import and then Fusion Composition. But right now, it's grayed out. And the reason for these is because we are not inside the Fusion tab. In order to import one, we have to be inside Fusion. For that, we're just going to create a Fusion composition. We can also just click here, but we're going to go into this one right now if we do that. So I'm going to show you from scratch. We don't have to name these, but here, the thing with creating one there is that then the next one is going to be saved. Now you can go here and press Import. And then the Fusion Composition is available. Now, if you open it, then you can just click, double click and it should load the Fusion Composition and you are set. Now, what if we want to export this? To export the Fusion Composition, you don't have to select these, but you can just go to File and then Export and Fusion Composition. And that will create a Export Composition, a .com file. Now, what you can also do if you want to save something is you can right click here and then go to settings and save us. It's not going to save as a fusion composition, but it will save as a settings file, which is basically the same. Uh, the only difference is that if you go to file and import, it might not let you uh, import it that way. But let's try it. If you use this import path to import it, you're not going to be able to do that. But the good thing and easy thing is that you can actually just also drag the dot settings file here and it will just do the same thing. And the end result is pretty much this. It's basically the same. So that is how you would import this fusion composition. You can choose to save it as a fusion composition or as a dot settings file. That is up to you and what works easier and best for you. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope it helps and I'll see you in the next video. Here in Suave. Bye.